Overwatch 2, the upcoming sequel to Blizzard's Overwatch, is just a glorified DLC. Don't let the fancy cinematic trailers and new UI fool you, Overwatch 2 is not a brand new game. It's a PvE expansion being marketed as one in an attempt to gain more sales. I'm sure this wouldn't seem too far-fetched, considering Blizzard has already demonstrated their undying love of money through valuing it over basic human rights. And I'm sure a lot of you watching this have already figured this out. So congratulations, give yourself a pat on the back. Now, the remaining people might accuse me of speculation, but this video exists to give you all the information you need of why that is the case. And where is this information you may ask? All listed clearly on the official website. So their new additions in Overwatch 2 goes as follows. Improved character models of already existing ones. From what we've seen so far, this includes Lucio, Mercy, Reinhardt, Winston, Tracer, Genji, and Mei. A new PvP game mode, called Push, where the payload can be pushed both ways in a tug-of-war-like fashion. A total of three revealed maps, and only two new characters. And the flagship part of the update, the PvE game mode. And I'll have to get into the details of that later on. Now, here's the issue. Current Overwatch players will battle side by side with Overwatch 2 players in PvP multiplayer, they'll also be able to play Overwatch 2 heroes and maps. Yeah so you know all of those new features I just listed earlier? The only thing you're getting for purchasing this hot garbage is the PvE game mode. Blizzard isn't being generous by giving Overwatch 1 players access to these things. Updates are to be expected when you pay the premium $60 for a game, not to mention one filled with enough loot boxes and microtransactions already. I don't know why Blizzard thinks it's a good idea to pull this shit during the Hong Kong drama. It's almost like they're trying to dangle something shiny in front of our faces in order to distract us. Hey look guys, it's Overwatch 2. We made a brand new game. Please forget about all of the drama and give us your money again. It's honestly just insulting that they think we'd fall for this shit. There is no brand new game, it's just yet another one of the Blizzard Soy Boys shitty attempt to manipulate money off of people. Something I'd like to debunk before we get into this further, is what if Overwatch 2 is a free update? First of all, why the hell would the same company that White Knights China, announced a new Diablo game only for it to end up being a mobile game, be trustworthy enough for us to think they'll do that? Wouldn't you think they'd outright announce that being the case, if it even is? Second of all, if current Overwatch players will battle side by side with Overwatch 2 players there's clearly going to be a divide in the player base, instantly informing us it's going to be paid. Alright, so what if you're still willing to pay for a mismarketed PvE expansion? Well, there's already a bunch of problems with it we can see from the gameplay trailer alone. Purchasing this isn't going to be very different from the seasonal events we've already experienced. Even the leveling system has a talent tree that looks like this. Wow, look how creative and different this talent is, you do damage when you blink through someone? Killing blows speed up your cooldowns. I could pull better design straight out of my ass. This is a horrible excuse for progression. Why not give Tracer the ability to pause time on command instead of their ultimate? Making your ultimate charge a resource meter instead of a single use. Why not give her blink anti-gravity properties? Allowing her to temporarily move on a surface as if it was the ground when blinking to it. I came up with these abilities in less than two minutes, and they're still much more fun than whatever sad excuse this is. The advertised faction system isn't any different to games we've already seen, such as Warframe and Destiny 2. I wouldn't be as mad as I am if it wasn't for the way Blizzard was marketing this bullshit. If they simply called it a big update and PvE DLC I would certainly find it stupid, but I wouldn't find it insulting. So in conclusion, put your money back into your pockets. Spend it on something meaningful like the TeamTrees.org fundraiser. Just please don't buy this burning garbage, you vote with your wallet, 
and by buying this you're basically saying I support Blizzard and the act of manipulating the public for money. I hope this video informed at least one person out there, and before I go if you're interested in hiring a video editor or just watching heavily edited content, come check out my channel. I'm kinda small here so anyone checking out my other content would help a lot, sorry for the self plug, and thanks for watching this video.